I just got this repair the other day and it's a cello crack and it really it's really bulging so um, I thought I might share it with you here it is now so I'm going to restore this one So what I'm going to do here is I've got to split the cello open. Trust me, I'm the doctor. To be very careful that uh, we don't have any um, any kind of extra cracking happening. So I open it very slowly, moving along quite well. I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at the other side. I'm always testing for weak spots first because once once you've found a weak spot uh, in the joints, uh, the instrument will open much easier. Now I'm going to keep going on this and I'll come back when the top plate's off. So I've split all the way around and the top plate's about to come off. Maybe a little scary. It's actually fairly neatly made inside. The crack is just here. Oh, you can hardly see it from there, can you? Here it is now. Just taking the top plate off has already made it match up, but it's, it's very close. You can see here, it's very close to the base bar. Uh, the base bar sits inside here, and it actually has the purpose of um, transferring the sound from the bridge feet uh, at the top, so you've got the bridge feet here, and it transfers the sound through onto the base, the thick part of the bass bar, and then transfers it all the way to the ends here and here. Uh, the other purpose the bass bar has, it strengthens this side. This crack will end up coming together well. Alright, just got to turn on my trusty glue here. All right, I've got to wait for the glue to heat now, so that's going to take a bit of time. I'll come back when I'm gluing the actual crack. Okay, so the glue is warm now, um, and I've got my trusty crack clamp ready. So this is uh, a clamp. It's actually one that I made myself. I wasn't 100% happy with the clamps I could get, so I ended up making one myself. Basically, I am going to put this clamp on here. Now I'm just gonna test, make sure this all comes together nicely. So it's really important that the crack pulls together really neatly. So let's see. I'm gonna use my really fine magnifying glasses on this one. So that's pulling together really nicely. I should be able to glue this in one go. Okay, so the, the next step I basically rub glue into the join. Uh, have to make sure that the glue is the exact right consistency to be able to do that. Okay. Just gluing, rubbing the glue in. So this has to happen pretty fast because uh, otherwise um, the glue is going to set uh, set too quickly. Oh yeah, it won't set. Actually, it'll kind of turn to jelly if you don't clamp it straight away. So. So, very important to get this right. Now, time to put the clamp on. So, 
So this next step is really important to make sure the crack really matches up. If you can't get the crack matching, it's worth just taking the clamps off and starting again or, you know, gluing the crack in like minuscule little stages like literally uh, I'll happily glue a crack in like, you know, like about like one centimeter or two centimeters at a time as long as it matches 100%. That's the important thing because if you can get if you can get the crack matching 100%, you can do the repair almost invisible. But if you don't, it's just going to end badly. Just got to grab a little wedge here. Now I've got to heat the whole area up a little bit using something called a heat gun so I've got to be really careful here. So I'm literally putting my finger, <laughs> finger to one side because if I burn my finger I know I'm burning the instrument. So. So now I literally have to let this dry. I'm going to let this one dry overnight. There's no rush for me here. And then uh, tomorrow or another next next day, I'll put the reinforcing cleats on. Okay, so the crack uh, on this cello is definitely dry. I glued it, it's come together beautifully. I'm, I'm actually really happy. Okay. It's come together really beautifully. So I'll take these clamps off. So. There we go. One side. <laughs> side oh look that one's stuck there gonna put that away get this other clamp off so the cracks just through here but it's really well glued that'll give the area the most possible strength Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to get my clamps ready. Make sure that they fit. This one fits. So we're going to use two of these. And then I'm going to need one of my longer clamps. Down here, this is the hardcore clamp. Don't mess with this clamp. So on the other side, I'm going to put this piece of like an old rib that um, that'll just protect the varnish. So that's going on the other side here. And then I'm gluing the cleats up onto the top end. This is a quite a quick operation. Glue is hot. I've got beautifully fresh glue, which is super exciting. And then uh, literally just glue them fairly fast. Put a clamp on top and a third one. And that'll keep it really nicely reinforced. There we go. Three clamps. So that's got to dry again for, um, I'm just going to leave it overnight. Then tomorrow I will take these clamps off. I'm going to try and get this cello glued up tonight. 
That way the client can pick it up hopefully later this week if I can get all the retouching done in time. So these cleats are now glued on and I'm actually going to cut them back now. This is quite soft timber, so I've actually made these cleats quite soft as well. Like the whole cello is made of a fairly soft uh, timber. It looks like a Chinese type of spruce. So that's going to give the, the instrument a, a slightly deeper and darker sound as well, which uh, some players really like. This one here I'm going to do with my knife because of the direction. The trick is to always have control of your tools, so I'm all, always pulling and pushing at the same time, so a bit of a difficult one to explain. Yeah, if you don't have control over your tools, uh, they could slip and then you end up with a cut uh, somewhere in the top plate. Now, this is not a super expensive um, antique cello or anything like that, but I, I try and take the same care on cheaper instruments as I do on more expensive instruments. You know, all instruments are special to their player, like their owners. And uh, what's most important is that people make beautiful music with their instrument. Okay, just going to do a spot of sanding. Again, have to be very careful just to sand on top of the cleats, not, um, not the actual top plate itself. Got the glue on uh, all ready to go for um, when the time comes to glue this together. I know no one's going to see this, but I still like to make it look good. Okay, I'm super happy with that. Okay, so the trick here is to move very quickly. I've got all my clamps ready here. They're just next to me here. I have some spare clamps and then just got to apply the glue and move ultra quickly because basically the glue goes from being glue to actually being jelly very quickly. So I use the old hide glue, the same as I've talked about it before. It's literally stuff they've used for thousands of years. They've used it in, uh, they used it in Italian violin making, but they also used it in ancient Egypt to glue together papyrus and things like that. So I'm just gonna, I've got my glue ready here and I'm gonna apply all the glue. And this is gonna move very quickly. The trick about gluing on a top plate is that you don't wanna glue it on too hard. So it's kind of a combination of of gluing it on enough but not too hard but if because if you glue a top plate on too hard and there's a weather change and the timber shrinks or expands uh, it can cause a crack but if the top plate is not glued on too hard it will just actually pop on like pop open in that spot and save the top plate from cracking which can cause, you know, that can be a very expensive repair. Okay, it's going to add a tiny bit of extra glue in a, on the corners and the top block because we want to make sure those guys are glued down pretty hard. And that blows this very fast. There we go. And at the end, we need to move it. the bottom. 
important thing is that it really matches the varnish where it was glued before in the past. I'm just going to tighten this in a couple of places and then Turn it straight over and do the other side. Like I said, this has to happen really quickly because the glue will turn to jelly. Okay, that's all done. So that's glued up. I'm just going to clean up some of the glue around the outside and uh, then I'm going to pop it aside to dry. Um, brilliant. Okay, so I'm just going to put the cello uh, down to dry into the shop and that's it for tonight. If you thought that was interesting, press like, uh, click on the subscribe button down here and the little bell next to it because that way you'll find out every time I post another video. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.